roughhouse says, come on, turn him out, fair play. And he turned it about all right. Now he thinks that's a pretty good idea, so he's going to bring his chair into the ring with him. giving each one of them a shot at him with a chair then he turns around and returns it in kind Dundee a backdrop as Fargo takes him over Chris Cole holding Fargo along with William Cole outside the ring Rough House being run out by the referee and Dundee and Cole one in and one out of the ring working on Fargo that's a one fall 60 minute time I'm about. Rough House, now all four are in the ring. And Rough House pounding away on Cold and Dundee. Uh oh, that could be it. Yep. Rough House hits referee Paul Martin. And he may be in a little trouble over that. Into the corner goes Dundee really catapulted out of the ring and William Cole put up on the top rope and Rough House just to finish things off since he's already been disqualified he nails the valet William Cole and he goes over to uh, handle with Chris and now Dundee racks up in the corner on top of Chris Cole Rough House holds him in there. Jumps the board. Wild and woolly, uninhibited Rough House Fargo. He's helping Dundee and Colt down, but not for the purpose of being friendly, I can assure you. Ooh. Rough House back down on the floor. He kind of likes that striped coat that William has on with the coat that William Colt has on. They've already been disqualified. I guess Rough House figures, well, you know. Rough going visited all the way out in the crowd. Colt decides to find his way back up to his brother in Dundee. And they win the match on a disqualification objecting to it the sentimentality that they have for the fabulous Fargo Rough House who has never been known to one to follow all the rules flagrantly violated it when he hit the referee and now we got kind of a case and match outside the ring Referee Paul Morton has done a nice work in one bout here as he's trying to get the Colt and Dundee out of here. They go out the victors by disqualification. Jackie and Roughhouse. Uh-oh, Roughhouse may be sneaking around behind the bleachers. That's sure what he's going to do. He took off going like a shot. And he's waiting for him. You may be able to see Rough House Fargo's head. He grabbed, he grabbed one of them and slammed them into that wire fence out of your vision down there. Oh boy. I think it's truthful to say there's only one Rough House Fargo and it's a good thing. This is Lance Russell from the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum.
for a near capacity crowd here at the Fairgrounds Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Mike Duncan with Carol and Mike Shields, and this is the first of two big matches of the night. Mr. Suzuki, the little rugged star from Japan, has put up $200 in order to once again meet George Gillis in the ring. $200 he'll throw out to the crowd if he fails to defeat George Gillis. One fall, no time limit, no disqualification. Swinging to the side now, George Gillis slamming the star from Japan, Mr. Suzuki. No time limit, no disqualification, and what's been some kind of an exciting match. Momentum swinging back and forth now, however, I believe George Gillis has it on his side. Mr. Suzuki, should he lose tonight, forfeit $200 to the crowd. Gillis sends it under those ropes. A towering back body drop levels Mr. Suzuki. Got a big crowd standing room only. Here to see this one. Count race two. Mr. Suzuki able to kick out. Very important match here at the Fairgrounds Arena. The last meeting these two men had, Mr. Suzuki lost his hair. Mr. Suzuki. Combination judo chops to the midsection and throw Jack George Gulas right in front of us. One, two. George Gulas, a popular young star here from here in Nashville, able to kick out of that one. Referee Tommy Sloan watching this one ever so closely. 